FormHub is software that allows anyone, if they can use Excel, to start a mobile data collection effort. This means that teams without programmers can collect data on smartphones. FormHub works in three steps, design, collect, and analyze. First, you design your survey in Excel and upload to FormHub. FormHub then transforms your Excel files so they can be effortlessly distributed to Android devices or opened in any modern web browser. Next, field surveyors collect data. Finally, you can analyze the survey data through visualization tools as soon as the data is submitted from the field. So let's begin with a demo of the software. Once you sign up for an account, getting started with mobile data collection starts with Excel. To author a form, you can start with a previous example from the FormHub Forms Gallery. Here, I will go ahead and download the tutorial form. The XLS Forms format is designed to be easy to use. College students have been trained in a matter of hours to use this format. Using Excel to write surveys, you can work on it offline, manipulate it as you wish, email to others, or use Google Docs or Dropbox for collaboration. The syntax for XLS forms is described in the FormHub syntax page. Once the form is designed, you can simply upload the XLS file to your FormHub account. When you upload the form, it shows up as a published form, and data collection can begin. If Android phones are being used, ODK Collect will need to be configured with a few simple steps in order to access your FormHub account. If you are using a laptop or other internet-enabled device, which is what I will use in this demo, you can just click a button to access an offline-enabled web-based survey. We'll scroll down to the survey and select the Web Form icon to start collecting data. You'll see that there is support for various kinds of fields, texts, numbers, option lists, pictures and other attachments, dates and times, GPS points, and programmable flow control, also known as skip logic. Option lists can either be single select or multiple select, and freeform inputs can be constrained to only accept valid data. The phone survey looks different, but the capabilities are exactly the same. Now on to analysis and visualization. For our Analyze section, I will show data from a real surveying effort in northern Ghana. As soon as any survey is completed and uploaded from the field, the data in FormHub sits in easy-to-access formats, CSV, Excel, and KML for Google Earth. You can also view your data in tabular or with a double-click, singular formats. Notice the Edit and Delete buttons, which can be invaluable for quality control. You can also view photos that were collected during the data collection exercise, and finally, maps of the data you have collected. Let's go down to a water point data set, and I'll show you what our map looks like. Here, we see all the surveys that were collected during the surveying effort. Clicking on a point gives you the survey that was filled out at that location. On the former hub map, you can even visualize the responses to questions in your survey using the view by menu. For this water survey, let's see what the responses to the question, is this water source able to provide water right now, were, and how they are distributed across space. No clear patterns here, but we can click through and see each one of our non-functional water points to follow up if we want. The FormHub map even allows for more sophisticated visualizations. If we include the hex bin layer in FormHub, we can see where there is a concentration of water points that we have surveyed. And finally, if we filter out our data by certain response, for example, just water points which were not functional at the time of the survey, this visualization will highlight areas where a high proportion of the water points were not functional. In addition to visualization tools on FormHub itself, we built additional tools that allow you to build dashboards, informative analytics, and real-time visualizations from your data. One tool is a library called formhub.r, which allows FormHub data to be easily imported into data analysis software like R. 
We are also working on a software package called Bamboo. Bamboo allows you to create indicators from the data you collect. These indicators will update in real time as new data comes in and can be fed into dashboards and visualizations that automatically stay up to date. FormHub was originally built for facility inventories, which are surveys of health clinics, schools, and water points, where a photo, a GPS point, timestamps, and a longer survey about what the facility offers was collected. It has since been applied to many different domains, including energy, soil tracking, agricultural surveys, and emergency response management. It handles long surveys very well and helps increase data quality in complex surveys by supporting both constraints during collection and editing and review capabilities right after submission. FormHub currently does not support interactions over SMS. It also doesn't have the notion of updates over time, but the latter is something we will be addressing in the next year. FormHub is completely open source, free to use, and free for others to host on their own. Our code is on GitHub, and we have an active developers mailing list. We welcome code contributions, bug reports, and translations from the community. Support for FormHub users is provided by a public Google group, which both FormHub users and developers respond to. We also have a dedicated support email address that our developer team mans with fairly quick response times. To use FormHub, all you need is access to the internet and Microsoft Excel. Your surveyors will need a smartphone. FormHub has been built specifically to work with ODK Collect, an app for Android phones and tablets. However, any device with a modern web browser can be used to collect data with FormHub. Oh, and one more thing. FormHub surveys can be written in any language. All you have to do is add an additional column to your Excel file. Here's a grid line mapping survey in Bahasa, Indonesia.